That's what we about to bust down. Some crochet braids in this piece. I got you on a new invisible hairline method. On a windy day, the wind can't just take it and snatch it out. That's what we going for, okay? That's really all it comes down to. People don't know that. Oh, <laughs> wait, wait a minute. Oh, it's for your dress. Because I got a teaspoon of hair, I could still just put it in a little ponytail and be done with it. So that, that's where we are with that. <laughs> Cousins, hey, it's your girl Mary Kay coming to you with a slate of Hey, hey. To you with a slate of Let the church say subscribe. What's up, y'all? So, as you can see, I'm still mid uh, prep preparation to it. I am preparing to, to slay today. So, I said while I'm baking, y'all know I usually don't bake. So, when I do, I'm being ignorant on top of ignorant, meaning extra. So, while I do that, I said I'm just going to jump on and introduce what I'm doing. As you can see, I'm braided down, which typically means I want a real flat base for a wig or I'm doing crochet braids. And today, that's what we about to bust down. Some crochet braids in this piece. I'm excited for a couple of reasons because I'm always excited when I do crochet braids. That's still my baby. You know what I'm saying? And I'm excited because I'm bringing y'all a new method. Well, it's new to me. It's probably new to a lot of y'all. And I get to shout out a really creative young lady that's here on YouTube. She popped up on my recommendation. She does crochet. Well, she does a lot of things, but I happen to see a crochet braid video of hers and she had this really cool technique. So I'm definitely going to shout her out. So I'm excited. Y'all know I love doing stuff like that. Today, I'm going to be using hair from Toyo Tress. Yes, I still fool with Toyo Tress. <laughs> I've just been doing so many wigs lately. But yeah, so I'm bringing you some loose hair because a lot of you guys were asking for loose hairstyles as opposed to like the locks and the braids and the twists and all that stuff. Some of you guys want to see the loose hair, so I got you. I got you on a new invisible hairline method. I'm actually going to adjust it a little bit. Y'all know I like to do things quick, fast, in a hurry, in decency, and in order. So it's going to do all those things. Okay, this is their Beach Curl 14 inch and it's an eight pack. So basically, you already know, I've done enough Toyo Tress videos for you to know, a pack is like a bundle. So there's eight of these bundles inside of one pack. These are the beach curls. This is a, oh, 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 honey, it's soft. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Threw me off for a second. I wasn't ready for it. Oh, it's Toyo Tress. I like that. I like that. This is feeling really nice. As always, you can always just go through and crochet this in your hair, in your, you know, as normal. If you don't care about like invisible illusion type of crochet, some people don't want to see the knots. Um, it just depends on what you like for your life and how you want to govern yourself and your hairstyles. Okay. That's really all it comes down to. People don't know that. Um, that's that. As far as the braid pattern, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine straight backs. That's it. That's all. I have tons of videos on braidless crochet. So if you don't know how to braid, I got you. Just look through my crochet braid playlist. But it's always in your best interest to learn because it's quicker. It just it is quicker. And as always, I will refer you to Beauty Kim Braid. She is the braid guru of the world, and she can do it and put her back into it. And she also has very beginner friendly tutorials, okay, on how to cornrow. And in the meantime, I got you on the braid list crochet, the illusion crochet, I got you. Uh, honey, I, I done done, I, I done done all that. The created styles, created braid patterns, methods, all that stuff, modified methods. I Just going through the playlist, okay? So that's all this is. And it's in a low ponytail in the back. Bam, just say if I did not have it in the ponytail, okay? You would just pull the end up, crochet it, and continue to work up this cornrow until, until the end is totally hidden. Bam, you would do that for all your ends. But because I got a teaspoon of hair, I could still just put it in a little ponytail and be done with it. So that, that's where we are with that. Don't braid your edges, ecker. Don't do that. Don't do that. Pull them out. Pull them out to the front. The majority of this style is going to be on a crochet cap, a wig cap, okay? So I'll be able to just put the wig cap on and bam, put it on, take it off, do what I want to do. 
that's it. That's all right. The front part is going to be an illusion hairline technique. I've done other illusion techniques. You know what I'm saying? So if, if this one doesn't fit your, if this one doesn't fit your comfort level, just check out my other videos and you'll see pr plenty of illusion crochet videos. Let me just give you an example of this illusion method. Okay, so the YouTuber's name is Shay Niche. So big shout out to that queen. I'll have the link to her video that I saw, which inspired this video in the description box. So make sure you check her out, show love. Let them know I sent you over there. This is kind of what she did. Like I said, I'm kind of modifying it a little bit. Let me just do this one right here. We're gonna move down. This is like a basic crochet, this part, right? So you take one side through, almost like you're getting ready to do, you know, regular illusion crochet. So bam, this is where we are with this, right? Now, in the front, I know I kind of want it. I'm going to end up wanting it layered, so I'm going to pull it back a little bit. And then, like, take some space from the front to the back. You can do this along the braid. You don't have to take so much space, I would imagine. Um, but I'm about quick styles. So bam, I'm going to take this. I'm going to crochet this piece back here I'm gonna pull it underneath the braid okay so now this is where we are okay let me come up this is where we are all right with your braid the more and more times you do that the more stable this will be so you can do this all the way back like all the way down this braid and this is going to be covered you guys don't forget we plopping a wig over top of these braids okay so that's going to be covered but what i'm going to do to ensure this part stability is i'm going to go ahead and crisscross over here i'm just going to modify it based on what i think and also my end result using a wig okay so i'm gonna come over here to this braid and i'm going to do the same thing pull it up under this braid and I'm just creating some tension. I'm creating, you know, so this can't just slide like on a windy day, the wind can't just take it and snatch it out. That's what we going for. Okay. All right. We don't want the wind to just be able to snatch that sucker out. I'm going to do that again. Same braid. I'm creating tension and knots. And you might be thinking that's going to be hard to take out, but it's not because you're just going to snip. You'll be able to snip this right here. You see that? Bam, it's not gonna be difficult to take out at all. Now, you see this right here? Now I can't just slide it. It can't slide with pride, okay? You think it can, it can't. I'm gonna do this all the way across twice. You see what I'm saying? You understand? I'm gonna brush this stuff off my face. I just wanted to show you while talking it through to you what this method is. And I thought that was so cool, especially because for me, like I said, all this is gonna be covered up. So it really don't matter how ignorant we get. You already know what time it is. The back does not judge us, okay? Now this front part, you wanna get right, okay? You wanna get tight and get right because see the front will talk about you. Like it never even knew you. So just make sure the front is delicious and nutritious and then the back can relax because we not even on it like that. You know what I'm saying? Look how pretty these cars. Look at that. Ooh, that's pretty. Y'all, that is so pretty. Look. Oh, that's cute. It's going to be cute, y'all. It's been, it's about to be over with. Okay, let me brush this stuff off and then I'll be back and we just go and finish this style and see how it turns out. I'm going to, you know, show you how to back comb it and I'm going to show you the exact brush that I'm using to back comb it. Y'all get your hands on this brush. When you have like a teasing or a back combing you have to do for a particular style, you want this brush, trust me. Yeah, let's go ahead and get this popping. Oh, oh wait, wait, wait a minute before we hit that benediction. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can join the family and join the fun. It takes a village. You and I. Now let's do this. So here's the thing. Upon reviewing the good sis video again, this way is kind of closer to what she did. Moving in a vertical direction as opposed to a horizontal direction. But I do have to say that both ways gave me the same results. So you pretty much can just go for what you know. Okay. So you have a couple options when it comes to that. You, you know, just kind of play around with it like I did. The key is security, okay? We, listen, this is not slip and slide records, okay? We don't want that front part just sliding around doing its own thing. We need stability. 
okay that's the name of the game so that's what you want to do especially if you plan on shouting i done told y'all that now once you do that you're getting ready to put the wig on and then you you about done at this point okay so i'm just getting those ends out the way because we're going to cover those up with the wig so you know get those out the way the best way you know how i just clipped them up with a bobby pin that's it that's all your crochet wig cap is very important there are crochet caps that do not come with wig combs mine does okay you want to make sure you get the correct one some people don't like wig combs so just get the one that you intentionally mean to get okay you'll notice that some of the holes are smaller the holes on the side are larger so you can kind of play around with the size of the pieces that you intertwine into the cap but you want to make sure you pay attention to spacing either way okay and i'm just going to show you a very quick install i do a triple knot in the back why y'all already know what time it is the back does not judge us that's why we can be ignorant on top of ignorant throughout the back of this wig okay we really can people don't know that so you want to do two finger whips apart why because it can get real big real fast okay and at the end you can always go in and fill in if you need to if you want it a little more full when you're done you have you know the space and opportunity to do so all right so i'm going to be doing two finger widths apart all throughout the wig okay now i'm just pretty much showing you the perimeter and when you have your hair if it comes packaged and like the little like hair tie wrap around it's very easy to just wrap that around your wrist pull the hair one by one if it's already separated this hair from Toya Tress it already comes in pre-separated pieces which I love it really allows you to be on your get it girl get it if you don't know what get it girl get it is that's when you are not to be played with you don't have all day you want to go ahead and get this install done out the way so you can head over to Publix get your bananas and your pineapples and come on back to the house period that's what that is okay so I'm doing that and just showing you the spacing because that again is very important now when you finish that the the rest of the perimeter okay you want to make sure when you start your second row you're going to be doing like a brick layer pattern or windows or whatever you want to call it you're just going to be going in between the pieces that you started off with okay and you want to do that all the way through the wig this is going to ensure that you are not too full you're not too thin you ride on the money and then that gives you room to play with it gives you wiggle room. You know, you, you know in the Bible they say you can't be lukewarm. You either hot or you cold. Well, when you're doing crochet braids and wigs, you can be a little bit lukewarm. Just in that regards, okay? Now I'm not telling you to be out here in the world and be lukewarm. Don't don't do that. And get up there to the gate talking about Mary said, uh uh, I didn't say that. Now, I'm just talking about these wigs, okay? Now, when you're dealing with loose hair. If you find that your knots are sliding, this is a little trick that I like to do where basically I'm taking a little piece from each side and I knot those two pieces, not every bit of the hair. I don't do every bit of the hair, just those little two pieces. Basically, I just created friction. I created tension for the knot to hold on to, okay? That's it. Very easy. With kinkier hair, you really don't have to do that. But with loose hair, you may find yourself wanting to do it, okay? At the end, you just go through and fill in, especially at the top, okay? It is very important that you split the hair and you fill in at the top. When you split the hair, you can do a single knot, you can do a double knot. It holds very well because it's not so thick. The piece of hair is not so thick and you don't want really thick knots at the top, okay? The back does not judge us, but the front and the top, huh, ma'am, yes ma'am, it will judge, okay? It will judge. Let's, let's, let's not act like we don't know that. So you wanna make sure that front and the top is, is what I like to call on point, all right? And then when you're done, Y'all, I don't know what I was watching, but I was into it. Probably people's court, child. I don't know. This brush right here. This is a teasing brush. 
we are getting ready to tease like our lives depend on it okay this brush right here it's ready for it it's ready for all the smoke you cut you off a little section of a, of a piece of the front hair this is just going to add to the teasing effect and it's going to frame the face as you guys know shape is very important to the overall look the effect of the wig of the style so you want to make sure you do all these little intricate parts don't cut straight across don't be ignorant and do that okay and, and here's the thing I know this looks like a tangled mess right now but trust me it will all come together for the good of those that love the Lord okay so just sit down and keep on teasing is what I'm saying to you this is the part that's actually pretty cut and dry, but you definitely want to get your hands on this teasing brush, okay? It made this process very easy, extremely. Now, here's your wig. We're just going to plop this on, get it settled, get it secure, put in our wig combs. If you choose the cap with the combs for that extra security, get it in place, and you can stop right here. But... <laughs> You, you, you know the good sis got to go ahead and give it a little shape. You, you know, you know, you know I got to be ignorant on top of ignorant when it comes to crochet. So I'm just giving it a little bit of an attitude. I'm giving it some flair, some flavor, some funk. I'm just giving it some of, you know, some of me, some of my vibe. And you guys, I absolutely love how this turned out she is serving she is giving ma'am yes ma'am i'm so happy with it i love how it flows i love how light it is i love how comfortable the style is it's not heavy it's not like pulling at my hair none of that it looks very natural on the edges baby we did that now go out there and slay with your bad self I'm going to show you how to take this out too because I know some of y'all was like, okay, how are we going to take out these front little parts? You know, the wig, you just slide that off. You take the little combs out, slide it off. Pull up the little pieces that we kind of crocheted in our cornrows and just snip off in the middle. Pull a piece up, snip it off in the middle. That will allow you to be able to just pull the piece straight out. That's it, y'all. It's really, really easy to take this style down okay once you do that bam you're back to the cornrows that's it that's all let me know if you're feeling this method in the comments and until next time peace love light y'all bye bye